Hello everyone, my name is Maureen and you all know who this is, don't you? Of course, it's Bookbag. You're going to say hello to everyone, Bookbag? Yes, of course you are. So thank you very much for joining us today. We are really, really excited to get started because we're going to be doing some singing and we have a wonderful book that we're going to read today, don't we, Bookbug? So we'll just start as usual with our hello song and we're just tapping our knees like this. So I'll count you in. One, two, three. Hello everyone, hello everyone, glad that you could come. Hello everyone, hello everyone, glad that you could come. Ay, 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 glad that you could come. Ay, 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 glad that you could come. So, we are going to do cross, cross, line, line. And I'm popping Bookbug on his side like this. And we're going to go like this. Cross, cross, line, line. Spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze. Tight squeeze. Now you've got the shiveries. And again. Are you all set? Cross, cross, line, line. Spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze. Tight squeeze. Now you've got the shivries. And one more time. Cross, cross, line, line. Spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze. Tight squeeze. Now you've got the shivries. Oh, well done, everyone. What would you like to do now, book bug? Oh, a wee bounce. I think that sounds like an excellent idea. So I think we'll sing See the Ponies Galloping. So I'm just going to have book bug facing me. And we're going to go like this. See the ponies galloping, galloping down the country lane. See the ponies galloping, galloping down the country lane. See the ponies galloping, galloping down the country lane. And a bit faster. See the ponies galloping, galloping down the country lane. See the ponies coming home, all tired out. All tired out. All tired out. So I think we'll do that once more. Are you all ready? I'll count you in this time. One, two, three. See the ponies galloping, galloping down the country lane. See the ponies galloping, galloping down the country lane. See the ponies galloping, galloping down the country lane. See the ponies galloping, galloping down the country lane. You tired, bookbag? Yeah. See the ponies coming home, all tired out. All tired out. All tired out oh and a big hug at the end that was very energetic wasn't it book bug so i think what we'll maybe do is something quite relaxing we shall do pat your head rub your tummy tickle your toes and hug your honey so pat your head Rub your tummy, tickle your toes, and hug your honey. We'll do that again, shall we, book, book bug? Pat your head, rub your tummy, tickle your toes, and hug your honey. And one last time. Pat your head, rub your tummy, tickle your toes, and 
hug your honey. That's lovely, isn't it, book bug? Lots of hugs. So, I think we're going to sing a little song now. And I hope that you're all able to join in in this. It's Five Little Ducks. So we're going to do Five little ducks went swimming one day Over the hills and far away Mummy duck said quack, 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 quack But only four little ducks came back Four little ducks went swimming one day Over the hills and far away Mummy duck said quack, 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 quack But only three little ducks came back Three little ducks went swimming one day Over the hills and far away Mummy duck said quack, 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 quack But only two little ducks came back Two little ducks went swimming one day Over the hills and far away Mummy duck said quack, 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 quack But only one little duck came back one little duck went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mummy duck said quack, 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 quack and all her five little ducks came back. Oh, that's a lovely song, isn't it, Big Bug? We do love that. I hope you did too. So now... We are all going to do another little bounce, rickety, rickety, rockety horse. So it goes like this. Rickety, rickety, rockety horse, over the fields we go. Rickety, rickety, rockety horse, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh. We'll do that again, book bag. Rickety, rickety, rockety horse, over the fields we go. Rickety, rickety, rockety horse. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, shall we do that one more time? Are you all set at home to do that? Rickety, rickety, rockety horse, over the fields we go. Rickety, rickety, rockety horse. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> Book bug, did you love doing that? I think you did, didn't you? You went so far there. Well done, everyone. That's a great rhyme, isn't it? So I think what we'll do now is We'll go on the site like this and eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. And we have to obviously be quite careful as to where we're pointing our fingers. So, eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin, cheeky, cheeky, chin, nose, eyes. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin, cheeky, cheeky, chin, nose, eyes. And again. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin, cheeky, cheeky, chin, nose, eyes. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin, cheeky, cheeky, chin, nose, eyes. And one more time, are you ready? Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin, cheeky, cheeky, chin, nose, eyes. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin, cheeky, cheeky, chin, nose, eyes. I think that's a lovely rhyme. So, as we are both sitting like this on the sofa, we are going to stay like this and we're going to sing Zoom, 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 We're Going to the Moon. Now, uh, as I say, we are going to sit on the sofa like this, but if you prefer a little bit more action, you can get up and walk around in a circle. And then when you do the next verse, walk back in the other direction. So, zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll get there very soon. If you'd like to take a trip, climb on board my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Five, 
four, three, two, one, zoom. Now we're going to go to the moon again. Are you ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll get there very soon. If you'd like to take a trip, climb on board a rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Five, four, three, two, one, zoom. A little bit back. Shall we go one last time to the moon? Oh, yes, definitely. Are you all set at home? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll get there very soon. If you'd like to take a trip, climb on board my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. All right, astronauts, are you ready to go to the moon one last time? Five, four, three, two, one, zoom! <gasps> here's book bag! <gasps> ah, here's book bag! <laughs> did you enjoy your trip to the moon, book bag? You did? It's good fun, that one, isn't it? But uh, it's quite action packed, so I think what we'll do is. We'll all relax now and I'll read you a story. And the story is about a pig called Hamilton who absolutely loves hats. What's that you think, Bookbug? Well, you would like to wear a hat for the story. Well, I don't see why not. It's quite good to join in in the story. So, how about this hat? Oh, yes. I think this suits you, Bookbug. A lovely sparkly hat. So, and now I'll get the book, and it's, oops, Bookbug's hat's falling off already. So I hope you can see the book, Bookbug. It's called Hamilton's Hats, and this book is written by Martin Oborn. The pictures are by Axel Scheffler, and the book is published by Macmillan Children's Books. So thank you to all of them for creating this wonderful book. And it's called Hamilton's Hats. Hamilton the pig was very fond of hats. He had big hats, small hats, tall hats, floppy hats, stripy hats, feathery hats, and suitable for every and any occasion sort of hats. In fact, he had so many hats that you would need more than all your fingers and toes to count them. When Hamilton the pig's mum saw Hamilton messing about in his hats, she worried. Hamilton, she would say, you are a very vain little pig and I do not know what is to become of you. You have many lessons to learn in life and you will learn none of them from hats. But Hamilton did not listen. He was too busy tipping and cocking, raising and straightening and doing all the other things you do with hats. Put your hat back on, I think, Bookbug. It's fallen off. <laughs> One day, Hamilton the pig was out and about when he bumped into a giraffe. Hamilton was wearing a tall, teetering, high-as-a-chimney sort of hat. My hat makes me almost as tall as you, he said to the giraffe. The giraffe snorted and with one fell swoop, snatched up the hat and flipped it onto her head. Mmm, indeed, a very fine hat, she said, ignoring the hot cross piglet below. I should like to keep it for myself. But if you're really determined to get your hat back, you must climb up my long, long neck to get it. Hamilton looked up at the giraffe's long, long legs and her long, long neck. It is not easy for little pigs to climb, but Hamilton did want his hat back 
and so he decided to do it. It was horrid. The giraffe kept wriggling her neck because, she said, Hamilton was so tickly. But Hamilton was determined and so, at last, he got his hat. Wee! he cried as he slid down the back of the giraffe's neck and bumped into the ground. I am a very determined pig and I have that my hat. The next day, Hamilton the pig was out and about when he came across a crocodile. Hamilton was wearing a fierce, pointy, snap your tail off sort of hat. My hat makes me almost as fierce as you, he said to the crocodile. The, croc the crocodile yawned and with a quick slurpity slurp, schnaffled the hat deep inside his mouth. Mmm, indeed, a very gobblesome hat. I should like to eat it for my dinner, drooled the crocodile, ignoring the raging pink piglet. But if you're really brave enough to get your hat back, you must come inside my hungry, hungry jaws to get it. Hamilton looked at the crocodile's hungry, hungry jaws and his hungry, hungry smile. It is not easy for little pigs to jump inside a crocodile's mouth, but Hamilton did want his hat back and so he decided to do it. It was terrifying. The crocodile kept licking his lips because, he said, Hamilton was so tasty. But Hamilton was brave and so, at last, he got his hat. Hurrah, he shouted as he leapt off the crocodile's tongue and ran off as fast as he could. I am a very determined and brave pig and I have my hat. The next day, Hamilton the pig was out and about when he met a band of monkeys. Hamilton was wearing a round, bouncy, let's play catch sort of hat. My hat makes me almost as playful as you, he said to the band of monkeys. The monkeys laughed and, with a quick flick of the tail, one monkey swiped the hat and threw it to his friend. Hmm, indeed, a very fun hat. We should play with it every day, cried the monkeys, ignoring the angry piggy in the middle. But if you're patient, you can have it back when we are finished. Hamilton watched the monkeys throw his hat high, high into the air. It is not easy for little pigs to be patient, but Hamilton did want his hat back and so he decided to do it. Poor Hamilton, it was boring. The monkeys played for hours because they said it was such fun teasing Hamilton. But Hamilton was patient and so in the end he got his hat. At last he sighed as he said goodbye to the monkeys and plodded off. I am a very determined, brave and patient pig and I have my hat. The next day it was cold. Hamilton the pig was out and about as usual when he spied a tiny mouse. Hamilton was wearing a soft, teeny, let's cuddle up sort of hat. My hat makes me almost as small as you, he said to the mouse. The, mo the tiny mouse sniffled and looked up at the hat. A slow, miserable tear rolled down her cheek. What's the matter? asked Hamilton. I'm cold and I have no house to live in. Your hat looks so cuddly and warm. It would be just the thing to curl up inside on a winter's night. You want to sleep in my hat, squealed Hamilton, horrified. Oh no, said the tiny mouse. I could not possibly ask you to be so kind as to give me your hat. Hamilton looked at the mouse as she limped unhappily away. It is not easy for little pigs to be generous, and Hamilton did not want to give his hat away, but he decided to do it. It was nice. The mouse kept shaking his hand and saying thank you, because, she said, Hamilton was so kind. Ah, said Hamilton, I am a very determined, brave, patient and kind pig, but I have no hat. So, happy, hungry and hatless, Hamilton the pig arrived home and set to work on a new and very special hat. <gasps> wow, what a fantastic story.
Now, just to remind you, it's called Hamilton's Hats, written by Martin Oborn, illustrated by Axel Scheffler, and is published by Macmillan Children's Books. And the fantastic thing is that you can borrow this book from the library. So, if you like that, I hope you do. We certainly enjoyed it, didn't we, Bookbug? Did you enjoy that story? Oh, and your hat's still on, which is a good sign. So, I wonder what we should do now. I think we'll maybe have a look and see what is in the rhyme box today. I'm going to move your hat round, Bookbug. That's better. So, I wonder what could possibly be. Now, I've forgotten the magic word. What could it be? I wonder if you could help me out, Bookbug. Oh, yes, I think, I think you're right. So if we tap three times, one, two, three, book bug. And let's see, does that work? <gasps> What's in the book, the rain box? Oh, book bug. Oh, this is very exciting, isn't it? <gasps> what could possibly be? In the rain box, a little mouse, just like the book. So we know a great song about a, li a little mouse, and that is Hickory Dickory Dock. Um, so we're just going to sing it. Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck one, the mouse ran down, Hickory Dickory Dock. Tick tock, tick tock, hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck two, the mouse went boo, hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck three. The mouse went wee. Hickory dickory dock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck four. The mouse went no more. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock. <gasps> That's a lovely rhyme, isn't it? I think we know another little one about a mouse, and it's a uh, runabout moose. It's a lovely tickle to do. So, see this hat? We'll just move that round a bit. And what I do, I'll do is get book bug's hand, and we go like this now. If you don't have a little mouse, you can obviously use your fingers. So, run about, run about, goes a wee moose, up a bit, up a bit, in his wheels. Now, we'll take Bookbug's other hand and go, run about, run about, goes a wee moose, up a bit, up a bit, in his wheels. And now on Book Bug's back. Run a boot, run a boot, goes a wee moose. Up a bit, up a bit, in his wheels. <laughs> oh, that's fun, isn't it? And it's always so nice to see the wee moose come out, isn't it, Book Bug? So I think the wee moose is going to have a little sleep. that you're saying book bug oh i think that's a great idea book bug would like to give his hat to the wee moose so the wee moose can have a little sleep well i think that's very very kind of you book bug so we'll just say goodbye to the little mouse goodbye wee moose and you're going to have your little sleep in book bug's hat and i think that's very very kind of you so thank you very much bye bye little mouse Oh, book bug, I think that was such a nice thing for you to do. And now the little mouse is having a lovely sleep in your hat. So, wonder what we could do now. 
Oh yes, we'll do cross, cross, line, line once more. Cross, cross, line, line, spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze, tight squeeze. Now you've got the shivers. And again, cross, cross, line, line, spiders crawling up your spine, cool breeze, tight squeeze, now you've got the shivers. And once more, cross, cross, line, line, spiders crawling up your spine, cool breeze, tight squeeze, now you've got the shivers. Well done everyone. Now, I wonder what we'll sing now. Shall we do jelly on a plate? Yeah, that's a great one. So we're going to do some wobbling like jelly and then your hands will be sizzling like sausages and we'll twirl like noodles on a fork. And if you're uh, you like what you can do is twirl round as well, but not too fast. You don't want to be dizzy. So, jelly on a plate, jelly on a plate, oh, wibble wobble, wibble wobble, jelly on a plate. Sausages in the pan, sausages in the pan, sizzle, 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 sausages in the pan. Noodles on a fork, noodles on a fork. Twirly, whirly, twirly, whirly, noodles on a fork. <laughs> Will we do that one more time? Jelly on a plate, jelly on a plate. Wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble, jelly on a plate. Sausages in a pan, sausages in a pan. Sizzle, 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 sausages in a pan. Noodles on a fork, noodles on a fork. Twirly, whirly, twirly, whirly, noodles on a fork. <laughs> well done everyone at home for doing that. Now, I think we'll maybe do Swing Me Over the Water. Swing me over the water. Swing me over the sea. Swing me over the garden wall. And swing me home for tea. <laughs> Are you ready to do that again? Swing me over the water, swing me over the sea, swing me over the garden wall and swing me home for tea. Whee! And a big hug. So, I think before we do our goodbye song, we shall sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. So, we just need to have our hands twinkling like little stars. And I'll count you in. One, two, three. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. And one more time. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh, well done everybody. Give yourself a big clap for that. So, thank you so much for joining us. We were so delighted that you could come. And we're just going to finish with our goodbye song. So, 
Goodbye everyone, goodbye everyone, glad that you could come. Goodbye everyone, goodbye everyone, glad that you could come. Ay, 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 glad that you could come. Ay, 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 glad that you could come. Goodbye babies, goodbye children, glad that you could come. Goodbye babies, goodbye children, glad that you could come. Ay, 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 glad that you could come. Ay, 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 glad that you could come. Thank you. Bye.